there, it's Ina here, and well, this was my life introduction to this video, but in hindsight, it got way too long-winded, and yeah, I didn't want to torture you, so I'm going back and doing a voiceover, so it's going to be a little bit odd, but I think it'll save us some time. So I'm showing you some lovely paper I got from Canvas Corp brand store. These are by Tethered Angels, and I got two pages of the hood design, which has the owl then i got two pages uh, from the birds i think it's called flight because well the front and the back side are both pretty so i like two pages and then this one which has a little mermaid design on the back and some wood as well and on the front this lovely big uh, mermaid and i want to use it in my project i also picked this line by um, seven gypsies called siren but as I'm making this video, I'm realizing that they are now in the sales section. So if they're not available anymore, when you go shopping at the store, they have so many different varieties of fun papers. You can easily find something else that fits to the nautical theme. And I also want to use this set of Glimmer Mist. Again, the store has a large variety of different colored uh, sets. I picked this one particularly because it also has some of their acrylic paint and their glam, which are both products I'm not familiar with. I have a lot of their glimmer mist, but I wanted to try these other products as well. So it includes Twinkle Toe Glam, which from what I understand is permanent. Then, of course, it has the white high impact metallic paint, which is permanent because it's acrylic, and then the silver sugar and graphite glimmer mist. So this should be fun to work with. And the next thing, well, it's something I found at a thrift store. And those are fold-out sheets for ring binders. And there were 10 in a set. And even though they're not meant for art, I think they're such great size that I wanted to use them. I also picked up an old uh, binding mechanism here from an old folder. And then I want to create my own cover with this. Now, for that, I used another thing I picked up. This is an old uh, record album cover, and the size is perfect. It will just be right. And I also had this piece of leftover cardboard for a sturdy spine. And, well, that's my idea. Of course, I could have just altered an existing journal or used proper cardboard. But you know me, I like to recycle. So for starters, I will add some duct tape to create the spine and also cover it all in gesso. And I'll be right back. So the gesso is all dry. The folder is put together and I'm cutting out the mermaid image. Now from here on, things go pretty simple and pretty obvious. So I let you enjoy a little music. I will put caption down where necessary and I talk to you at the end. This, by the way, is just simple tissue paper and some gel medium.
So here's the art journal all done and as you saw I chose proper screws and nuts to attach this little mechanism here as this one is rather heavy duty and I didn't think the paper brads I usually use for these would be sufficient. This is now very sturdy and won't go anywhere. I pretty much used up all the four papers I chose for this project. Um, for the inside cover I, I used this nautical paper and the reverse had this nice teal design and I just enough left to cover the inside spine. And the outside paper too, the mermaid paper, I have two little pieces left. And even though I had to do a little patchwork here, I was able to make the whole backside look like this weathered wood and that came out perfectly. And also the pretty border was just the right size to fit on the spine. Now you probably noticed that I edited and uh, sped up the coloring process quite a lot because it took me quite a long time. There are a lot of little details and I figured you all know how to color so I didn't want to take a chance of losing my audience and boring you. So the texture is just really really nice. I wish you could touch it. It just came out really uh, nice and I'm happy with it. And this paper is really very nice to work with. It takes color, sprays and whatever you want to put on it very well. And because it's so sturdy, I wasn't able to rip it. I had to uh, cut it. It is really more light fabric than paper and it's really something you would want to try sometime. So as I said before, every, all the materials I used will be in my description box. There's a link to the store. Give them a visit. I want to thank you for coming. Thank you for watching and I see you real soon again. Bye bye for now.